hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while but i have loads of loads of things to catch you guys up on and we can take care of that on another day but for today i wanted to show you guys this super cute crochet hair install and i feel like i've done this video i have done this video before um but it's one of my go-to crochet hairstyles and i wanted to share with you guys um, so this is something I always opt for when I am uninspired and I'm just looking for a quick hairstyle just to get by. Um, this is the look I go for. So first things first, I just go ahead and give myself a breakdown. And this is not the most neat process. <laughs> I do this in the most chaotic way you can possibly think of. I mean, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a mess. But if you have someone that can help you braid your hair down, sure, go ahead. Or if you have an old cornrows for your, you know, that you rock under your wig that you would like to use for this hairstyle, you can go ahead and, you know, use that as well. Um, like I said, this is just a quick hairstyle. I usually don't keep it on for long at all. Um, I just wear it for maybe about two weeks max, sometimes even a week, sometimes three days, sometimes a day for the video that I'm shooting. Um, so yeah. So when you're done, you can opt for whatever oil of your choice. Just make sure your hair is nice and moisturized and not flaky like mine. <laughs> but um, the hair I will be using today is the Altri Expression 4C, no 4A Kinky Coil. I'll be sure to link that in my Amazon storefront. Like I said, this is my most like I am so attracted to this hair. It's not even it's not even funny because I love how realistic and how natural the coils form especially when you're you know when you separate them it is most beautiful most realistic looking um what can i say coil i've found in crochet form that doesn't the texture is not silky it's not slipping out of your hands when you try to put it in a you know a crochet knot which is a pet peeve of mine by the way like when crochet hair is ultra like silky because it's like how am i supposed to knot this thing on my head but um absolutely love this it's easy to install um it looks so realistic and you see when i finish it's absolutely gorgeous um but yeah you guys i'm just gonna let you guys watch my install so when i'm installing this hair it's pretty much repetitive up until i get to the closure part of this hair and um when i get there i will come right back and talk through how i do that process So installing your closure part of your crochet is the most important step because this gives, you know, it gives it the most realistic um, look. Um, so you really want to make sure you get it right. First thing first, you want to make sure you're using really small pieces at the front. And essentially, what we're doing is we're only trying to lock 
the crochet at the bottom of the cornrows as opposed to the top of the cornrows so what i do is i insert my latch hook and tie one strand first and go back in again and tie the other strand through the loop and then i pull and it ties a knot at the bottom So once that's done, all that's left is to shape your hair and this is probably also one of the most important steps because you can have this hair going from like a 5 to a 10 just by a haircut. So essentially what you want to do is frame it to your face. Um, so I usually like to have the bottom long and then the top kind of layered um, to the bottom if that makes sense to so give me like a heart shape fro for my heart shaped face so what i do okay is or what i would like to tell you guys to be aware of when cutting curly hair is that when you pull the hair to cut it always remember that it's going to snap back and become shorter when you cut the hair so be very very careful so that way you don't cut the hair too short thinking that you're just cutting off long pieces because curly hair can be so annoying to cut so be very very careful um so i wanted to have some like fringe going on at the front because i don't know i just feel like fringe looks good on me and that's what i want to do and it looks really good with you know framed framing my face and that's what i did and it looked amazing but yeah, you guys, that is all I have for this video. I will be coming back to give you guys the rundown of where I have been because I know I do this a lot. I would disappear for like six months and then just come back in with a video and then disappear again. But that's not the case this time. I have a video coming for you guys, you know, detailing where I've been and um, why I was away and everything that's been going on in my life. And I hope you guys um, tune in for that. And I look forward to chatting with you guys a little bit more. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys on another video. Have a merry day and God bless.